All right, here's a demonstration of the new Crestron Home app. Uh, this is on a tabletop uh, touch panel. So it's a physical touch panel, it can connect over Wi-Fi or be hardwired. This interface is pretty much identical to what you would see on an iPad. So the navigation is very you know, straightforward. On the front here, you can have some scenes that will do a couple things. Uh, the, the main functionality is within the rooms. So this is where you could come down, choose a room, uh, you could go and say video, and these are the video sources for this room. You'd select that, the presets pop up, you can, you know, those can all be modified uh, on your own, which is a nice, um, you could go and choose which presets actually uh, are displayed here. What else? Uh, keypad, remote, volume control is down here for the room. If you want to change the source, you would go and hit this and then choose, now this is your Apple TV control. Uh, you have a uh, sleep timer if you want to go to sleep with the TV on and let it turn off, or you just press off here and it turns off the room. Uh, for music, you have this audio button, and these are the audio sources. So <clears throat> what we're seeing here is um, these top uh, two, three, four, five uh, sources are all on autonomic, uh, and it's all one stream. So what autonomic does is that even though it's one source and you can only listen to one thing at a time on that stream, it breaks out all of the individual services to be selectable, um, which you know can be convenient, but it also can make this look a little bit crowded because if I have a second stream, you know another stream, stream one for for his music, a stream two for her music, something like that, or a guest stream, uh, you would have all of these sources multiplied. Uh, so that's autonomic. What Sonos does is, uh, you know, all of the same uh, f features that are available in it, but it contains it to where, okay, so when you go into Sonos, you're just seeing whatever's playing here. Uh, if you go to browse down here, you get all of your Sonos favorites. So that's um, the only thing that's accessible here. Uh, and you can see this favorites can be comprised of like TuneIn, Spotify, uh, you know, Pandora station. So it'll mix whatever you want to put in here. Um, to do more advanced control for uh, the Sonos, that's when you would press this button up here, which allows you to jump into the full Sonos app. So where we are now, this is now the full Sonos app. Um, which uh, has a lot of similar functions. If you're familiar with the Sonos app, it's pretty much identical um, uh, to that, uh, just on a bigger you know, screen here. Um, so these are various Sonos zones that I have. Uh, for a typical thing, it might just be you know, Sonos 1 and Sonos 2, like you see down here, uh, and uh, you know, just for, for streaming throughout the whole house. Um, and again, the point of these, this Sonos uh, built-in app is so that you could do more in-depth music control Otherwise, uh, to, so to get out of here, we swipe right, hit home. Now we're back in the crush on world. Um, otherwise, you can do you know all your favorites from here. Uh, to manage the rooms, you come in here and say play in multiple rooms. You can say okay, merge those, and now you've got, I believe, a master volume control and then individual for each room. Uh, so that's music control with Sonos uh, for a room. If you want to change it to another source, um, so this again is now how you have uh, uh, autonomic as well as Sonos. If you go into the autonomic interface and you had it, you have all of your uh, Sonos presets. Let's turn this off here. Um, all of your Spotify. So it's it's broken down more tedious, but you have actually you have more two way control. So there's no. There's no reason to hit the button up here to jump into you know the full autonomic interface. So that's the major differences with um between autonomic and Sonos is that uh, Sonos uh, requires you know jumping into the Sonos app, whereas autonomic natively has the two-way control of all of the music, so that you would see it here. So, and uh, you know Sonos can only display whatever favorites that you save um, there. So that uh, hopefully that explains a little bit better. Uh, what else here? This is, you know, any rooms that are on you can jump into. And that's it.